Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. I wanted to make a quick video based off some feedback I recently got on Instagram. I was posting pictures in my story of hanging some gym banners, which you can probably tell from behind me that there are some up. I'll do a quick shot of the gym and whatnot. And it's one of those things that can really help dress up a space and make it your own. Plus it's pretty cool to add things in that you like, whether it be companies, flags, etc. Uh, it's one of the things I like to do, especially when you have bare concrete down here. So I was just posting stories of what I was hanging up and kind of tagging people that I was sharing. And I got a lot of questions from people asking how I went about hanging my banners. So I thought I'd do a very quick video. And the good news is, if so you've been watching my previous videos talking about what I did for my flooring and using the Gorilla Tape to kind of mend the seams, if you will, of the actual stall mats, I use the exact same tape to hang my banner. So you can kill two birds with one stone. You can do anything with Gorilla Tape. So it's literally all I do. I just simply tear off a piece of tape. I fold it over to make it basically a double-sided piece of adhesive and I stick it on the banners themselves, which are I think made out of vinyl. So it sticks pretty good to that. Now, depending on the size of the banner, I will use different pieces of tape, but definitely want to anchor the corners in, usually a couple pieces in the center if it's a bigger banner. And then after I mount it onto the wall with just the top, because I don't want the other parts to get stuck just yet, because I have the habit of not putting them very straight. All of them seem to be a little bit off level, uh, but I mount the top first. And once I get that level, I go back and I put tape on the sides. And then finally on the bottom, the whole way smoothing things out to make sure that there isn't a bunch of extra material loose and everything can lay as flat as possible, which isn't always the easiest to do. A lot of these banners, when they ship, they ship to you rolled up in tubes. So a lot of the corners tend to peel up or if they've just gotten banged up in shipping, it's tougher to get them flat. But I try to do that. And you can actually probably use more pieces of tape to do so, depending on how good you want it to lay flat. Now, one of the things that I will say is this is what's worked really well for me. I know other people don't have as good of experience with Gorilla Tape. I've had nothing but very good experience. I will say in my last basement, I did have trouble mounting certain things when it was extremely cold down there. I found the Gorilla Tape didn't mount as well. Also, if you have maybe an older basement with an older foundation, it tends to have a lot of dust, dirt, debris on it, like pieces of concrete falling off, which I've seen. Uh, that might be something you want to try to address or clean up first before you try to use the adhesive on it. I will say this time I also did buy the Gorilla Tape mounting tape to give it a go. I heard very good things about that and you don't have to fold it over because it is actually sticky on both sides, but it's a lot more expensive and I literally couldn't even hang one banner with it. So I used a whole roll on one banner as opposed to buying a big roll of Gorilla Tape for like nine or 10 bucks. In fact, I'll link the ones I got because it was a two pack, so it was fairly cheap. I used it to do my entire floor. And as I said, I also used it to hang my banners and it works really well, less expensive, and I don't have have that much issue with it. I will say again, depending on the time of year, depending on the moisture humidity in your basement, you might find it gives up after time. But again, it's a cheap enough solution that you can just go and apply more and it's easy to take off and take down and you're not really beating up your walls. Now, if you have a finished basement or you're putting it somewhere where there's paint on the wall, it's probably gonna pull off your paint so it might not be the best route for you to go. But if you're in an unfinished space like I am, I definitely think it's the best way because it works really well and it's really, really cheap. So I've gone ahead and hung all the banners I have right now. If you have a question on where can you get banners, I get that question a lot. Literally, whatever the company's name is on my banner, that is where I got it. A lot of these companies sell them, or you could just start a YouTube channel and a lot of companies that you've never heard of or never used their products will want to send you their stuff. So there's always that as well. The only last thing I have to do is mount a couple of flags and I go about that a little bit of a different way. So maybe if there's enough interest, I'll make a video on that as well. It's not rocket science, but then again, one of my more popular views back in the day videos was on how to bend the brim of a hat. Hit that like button if you remember that. In the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching and stay big.